The Brainerd JCs are less than 24 hours away from the start of their annual ice fishing extravaganza. But as our Justin Prince tells us, they aren't the only ones getting ready for the big day. For the 25th straight year, the Brainerd JCs have taken to Gull Lake in Brainerd, prepping for their annual ice fishing extravaganza. Today we are setting up for uh, the big event tomorrow. We set up the tents and everything yesterday. Today we're setting up snow fence drilling holes and garbage cans and all the little details. A stretch of ice as far as the eye can see will be littered with thousands of anglers tomorrow, but today is when the real work begins. For over five hours, volunteers drilled nearly 20,000 holes to get ready for the big day. 20,000 holes we drill, a little over probably. It's a lot of man hours, just everybody getting together. We had like 140 volunteers out here today, so a lot of people it takes to set up. But while crews drill almost 20,000 holes in preparation for tomorrow's big day, local businesses are gearing up for the big event in their own way. Not only is all the vendors for the fishing extravaganza staying here in media, but uh, also our guests. We've got a lot of things going on, including free shuttles for all of our guests directly out, the, out to the lake spot. We've got a drop-off pickup spot, and then for all of our guests, we also have our hospitality tent. But perhaps one of the best things to come out of the extravaganza every year is the impact it has on the local economy. It's really more about the community than it is anything else. When you have that many ice fishermen that, that descend on your community, they're going to go out to eat. They need some place to stay. They're going to lose some uh, fishing tackle. And the, the good news is that we have all of those businesses here in town where they can find what they need and uh, we can help them out, but they also help our economy out as well. None of us really are competitors against each other. We all offer something completely different. Overall, having this type of uh, national and international coverage coming for such a great event for the community is just a win-win for the whole Brainerd Lakes area. On Gull Lake, Justin Prince, Lakeland News. Thanks for your service! The extravaganza runs from noon until 3 tomorrow. For more information on the event, you can visit www.icefishing.org. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.